everybody, it's Tanya with ScrappyChicks.com and your creative partner with Kiwi Lane. And today I am bringing you a quick tutorial and a project share. This is um, a fingernail file holder and it is made out of pieces of cardstock and then there's a band. Um, I'll take the fingernail file out. So there's a band that slides over. The little holder it's just a piece of cardstock and you can make these for any holiday or season birthday mother's day i was doing winter ones and it holds the fingernail file and these are two that i made and i wanted to make one with you and i used the build a snowman template set and I also used um, one of the expressions templates on this one as the background. And I just thought these were really fun and really pretty. And I just wanted to make one with you real quick to show you how quick and easy these are to make. So I'm going to sit here at a craft table and I thought we can make one together. Okay, so the video so it won't be so lengthy i have went ahead and cut my paper and you can this is a great way to use scraps so this piece of paper measure measures three and a half by six and a half so all you need is one piece of three and a half by six and a half paper and you can use that out of your scrap pile if you have some in there and then you just need a scoreboard. You don't need a big one. You can just do a little one. If you have a little one, you can use a big one. But if you have a little scoreboard, you can use your little one. And we're going to make four score lines. So we're going to score at, and let me use this stylus here. We're going to score at one inch, one and a fourth and then we're going to make another score line at two and one fourths and then at two and a half okay so four score lines and that's it so one inch one and one fourth two and one fourth and two and a half and then you're done with your scoreboard so you can move that over to the side then you just want to go ahead and fold this over on your score lines. Just to go ahead and get a nice fold. You can use your fingers to burnish or if you have a bone folder, you can use that as well. And you can go ahead and shape it. I'm going to go ahead and shape this and show you. See, that makes your skinny box for your file folder. that easy okay but before you glue it down if you have a little hole puncher I think this is like I don't know the dimensions this is by EK success I don't know if it's I really don't know the dimension it's a really small one to get the one of these this one I forgot to punch but it still worked fine, so you don't have to punch. And this one, I did punch. I hope you can see that. So I punched this one, and I forgot to punch this one. I had put this one together before I punched, but that's okay. I think it looks fine either way. But I'm going to go ahead and punch this. Just put it in not even halfway of the circle. If you have a small circle punch, you can do it that way. And see, it just gives you that little notch. Okay. So now you can go ahead and either take your tape runner adhesive or you can take glitter glue. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I chose to use glitter glue for this project. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my glitter glue on. And then I'm just going to fold this over and kind of burnish that down with your fingers. 
Just carefully go up and down. Okay, so where your notch is is your top. So this makes your bottom. So to close this up, and I see I need a little bit of glue. So if the corner is it glued all the way down, that's okay. Just put your glue in there and then stick your finger in there and hold that down just for a minute. Okay. Now, to do your end piece, the end pieces, I seal them shut. That way, the file folder has a stopping point. So you want this closed. To establish that closed, you just take your art glitter glue and put that in there. And then you're going to pinch it shut. You're going to flatten those edges out. So while we're working on our belly band part, I just have these little paper clips, not paper clips, clothespins. These came probably from the Dollar Tree or a, the Dollar Spot at Michael's. Somewhere like that these came from. Just take your clothespins and just hold down those edges. That way that can be drying while we're working on the belly band. Okay, so to make the belly band, this is just... Let me see the dimensions of this. This is a six, a little over six inch strip, which I don't, I'm not going to need that long. So I'm just going to eyeball this because I really don't need it that long. So I'm just going to eyeball how much I need by wrapping it around. Okay. You can come in and snip that excess off. Okay, we get the excess off. Okay. And we're just going to wrap this around. And we're totally eyeballing this. Not really measuring. And then I'm going to snip it again and get that cut just a little straight. There we go. That's our belly band. So we're going to glue our belly band on and make sure it slides. So you're just gluing your belly band together. You're not gluing it to the box because if you glue it to the box, of course it's not going to slide. And if you put too much glue, that's okay. Because I'm using art glitter glue, I'm just going to wipe that excess off. See? Then you won't be able to see it anyway because art glitter glue dries clear. You can use your adhesive runner too. So this just gives you a little belly band here. And the whole reason why I did a belly band is because I created a snowman and I wanted it to have something to attach to, not necessarily attach on my box. And if your box doesn't seem to line up perfectly, you can take it and just kind of manipulate it just a little bit to bend it. So now the bottom should be good and dry. And I see there's a little excess paper here, so you can just cut that off. Then we're going to take our snowman and we use the Kiwi Lane Build a Snowman. You can either foam dot this. This one I made layers. So I used the expressions, one of the new expressions templates. I put a snowflake 
sticker for my stash and then I just made a snowman from that build a snowman set and so I layered this belly band but this one I'm going to keep kind of plain and simple because I think it's just as pretty so what you want to do you want to put your glue on the belly band that way you will not forget and put glue on the snowman and then it'll transfer onto your box and you don't want that because you only want it on the belly band. And then you stick him down. And then you're just gonna let him dry. And see, you can slide that off or you can slide it back on. like that and now our fingernail file just slides right in and this makes a great fast gift um, if you want to give like a fingernail file and a small um, nail polish and a hand lotion and a little gift bag that would be a really nice gift for the winter because my nails always get dry especially around the cuticles because at my job, I work with paper all day, so I dry my hands out. So I have to put lotion on my fingers um, and especially around my cuticles all the time. They're dry now. So this just made me think this would be a great winter gift when it's so cold outside um, and our hands drying out just to do some lotion and a little felt fingernail file. It was that fast. And this is also a great way to use up your scraps, your scrap paper. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope this inspires you to create um, a fingernail file holder. And of course, with upcoming Valentine's Day, this will be a great gift for a friend um, or a coworker at work. You could give her a fingernail file um, holder with a fingernail file and some hand lotion. Or this is a great Mother's Day is coming um, or birthday. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.